Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. <laughs> it's the snapless that because I don't want to drop anything. Guys, I got some big information out of, uh, well, we got some Russian stuff. We got anonymous uh, hacking things going on. Uh, and, and all of this drives home the one solid point I want you to get through to you. Guys, get prepared. Okay, there's a lot of stuff happening in the world right now. This isn't FUD. It really is happening. If the last two years has not taught you one thing, it is to be ready, be prepared, don't be scared, and get ready for opportunities. Okay, there are opportunities. However, in the last two years, all you've seen is shortages and inflation. That inflation is going to turn into uh, transitory hyperinflation for a little while, but then it's going to turn into deflation and all kinds of opportunities. Okay, guys? So remember, we want to be solid as a rock. And so with that being said... I just need a little coffee first. All right, so uh, Russia just upgraded their, uh, they just brought their nuclear uh, capabilities up to, what is it, DEFCON 5, you know, I mean, they, they literally put them on high alert, all right? You're seeing that out of CNN, big mainstream thing, it's clickbait. Of course, I'm gonna use it too to try and get as many people on this video as possible. I haven't seen these videos before. Why? Not because of the uh, ad revenue, but honestly, because I want as many people prepared and ready for this because we guys we want to lead the greatest army of human beings ever during a collapse of a of a market of global stock markets all kinds of things and we're going to lead you into absolute prosperity and then you're going to take that and not only are you going to be crushing it and be stoked and live in the high life but also you're going to be helping people all right so that is the truth so with that being said guys hit the thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button help get the message out because i can guarantee you you're gonna wanna take people alongside you. You know, doing great and being blessed in life is is awesome, but it's nothing compared to being able to take others with you. Trust me, I know that. Uh, if you know any of my friends, you'll know that I've spent most of my life trying to take them with me on my journey to financial success. All right, so Russia upgraded, you know, their nuclear thing. Honestly, guys, that's just a normal everyday thing when you're in, in you know, you're in war, at war with another country, of course you're gonna uh, call in over time and you're gonna say, all right, let's 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 put everybody on high alert, okay? Be ready, all right? That's just normal. Um, let's hope nothing gets to that, but I mean, that's a very serious thing. So we made it through the Cuban Missile Crisis, we'll, we'll get through this, honestly. And I don't mean to downplay this, okay? Very serious stuff happening, but the media is really trying to get people to look over here when honestly, guys, you should be looking over there, and that's what I'm going to bring up right now, and that's the banking system. All right, here we go. Anonymous claims hacks on more than 300 Russian cyber targets in 48 hours, including gas control system. Now, this part's very scary. Guys, I'm going to be linking this below. Um, it says, as members of the collective posted information about their operations on Twitter, one account said that hackers breached a Russian Linux terminal and gas control systems in Norgir, uh, North Ossetia. We ch and this is a quote, we changed the dates and almost make it gas pressure become so high to turn into fireworks. Luckily we didn't because of a fast acting human controller. Okay, so somebody was not asleep at the switch and they did something about it. Luckily we didn't because of a fast acting human controller, the post said, adding screenshots of the breach. Okay, this is very serious stuff. So, you know, it's one thing to, well, and we're gonna go into that bank accounts. It's another thing to start causing, you know, mass hysteria, explosions, and possibly loss of life. It says, uh, one anonymous Twitter account claimed Saturday evening that it was responsible for knocking the Chechen government website offline, and it was still down this morning. Uh, then we're talking about the bank accounts. They go into this, and I can't find it. I don't want to waste any of your guys' time, but they talk about how they, they knocked out multiple banks, knocked them offline as well. So if you think about it, not only do you have governments attacking governments right now, you have private groups possibly getting involved too, uh, waging their own war uh, in, in how they see fit. So here are the facts, guys. Things are getting nutty. Uh, banks are uh, going offline because of cyber attacks or they're closing. Um, there is a very difficult time for people to get cash out of the ATMs just to live, just to be able to pay for fuel, things like that. Also, all of this on the heels of rising inflation and in Europe and uh, in, in most parts of Europe, we're talking about hyperinflation when it comes to energy costs and things like that. So I want you to please take heed to this warning. Go and buy some extra food right now. I don't care where you are on earth. 
uh, the facts are shipping companies are already saying we're about to start jacking up prices on ships on the actual cost of shipping goods from country to country. Um, they are saying that, uh, you know, certain ships are not even going into certain parts of the world like Russia, uh, certain war zones because of the, uh, the possible possibility of getting shot down or captured, that kind of stuff. We're also seeing countries that are actually seizing ships because of these, um, sanctions that are being put on Russia. Okay. So I want people to understand right now is the time to just think calmly, clearly, and rationally buy some extra food. If you don't have it, have some cash on hand, think about alternatives to the banking system right now, like crypto. This isn't financial advice, but diversification is good financial life advice. Always right. Don't play those extremes. Don't be a part of the extremes. Think about things like cryptocurrency, gold, silver, um, and then having cash on the side, all right? Do you think this is the time to be uh, uh, blowing up and, and, and blowing your wad on, on NFTs and crazy stuff right now? I don't think so. Quite frankly, I personally don't think that is, but then again, this isn't financial advice, all right? Also, I wanna add in, Bill Gates is, or it's reported right now, Bill Gates is liquidating uh, stocks, his, his stocks right now. A lot of insiders are selling off everything right now. They're moving to cash because they know what's going on. So why wouldn't you do the same? Be like the wealthy people. Wealthy people own gold. Wealthy people have Bitcoin now. Wealthy people have cash reserves. They don't have all their money invested. Why? Because it could turn on a dime and then they lose everything. Remember, when they talk about the wealthiest person, Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk, remember, 90-something percent of their wealth is because of the stock market and the amount of shares they own in that company. So I want people to understand that. Wealth can be taken in the just a, a split second and it happened in 2008 to 2009 it destroyed many people i knew many people that were once multimillionaires that lost everything all right guys i hope this is encouraging and it should be encouraging this isn't doom or gloom anytime you know that there's a train coming and you're sitting on the train tracks and someone comes hey buddy there's a train coming uh, if you'll just simply move you won't get squashed well then all you gotta do is move only a moron's gonna sit there and go i don't believe you well then let the moron be the moron and Hey, we've seen it multiple times before, all throughout history, real estate cycles, stock cycles, things like that, war cycles. And guys, they're all converging right now for what I believe is the perfect storm, financially speaking, and quite frankly, maybe even more. All right, guys, that being said, I thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hitting the subscribe button. Thank you for hitting the like button. Ninja Nation is going to be a group of human beings, an army of human beings that are prepared, not scared. They're gonna go out and crush it and they're gonna change the world because you can only change the world, honestly, with peace in your heart, peace in your mind, and money in your pocket. All right, guys, that being said, Economic Ninja is out.